I found this $3 picture at the Dollar Tree in their plus section, and I'm going to remove the backing and then start painting the frame in our Wise Owl white primer. And then I covered the picture also in the white primer and I did two coats and that's going to block out my image. Today we're going to be using our fall festive transfer. This is from Redesign by Prima and it has the three panels of different fall sayings and pumpkins. And I'm going to start with the hello fall and I'm going to start by adding the hello. We're going to take that protective backing off lay it down, use the stick that's within the package, and rub the image to my surface. I'm going to do this with the word fall, so we have the saying, hello fall. Then I'm going to grab the pumpkins that are in the package as well, and add them to the bottom. And I have enough other images that I can use on other projects. You can find this transfer at chocolateupfancy.com. We're going to be using our salve by Wise Owl. This is our lemon verbatim, and I'm using it as a top coat. It's just basically you're going to rub it on. I did not rub mine off, and I jumped right to my general finishes. Uh, stain gel. This is called antique walnut and I'm not worrying about full coverage. I kind of want to see some of that white coming through so I just did a dusting of the stain and then allowed that to dry. The salve just gave me that barrier so I could move my stain around and buff it off to a lighter brown. I put my frame back together and I found these sprays with the pumpkin at Walmart. I'm going to wrap them together with some floral wire and then I found these other uh, floral sprays. I put one coming out the top, one coming out the bottom and they had that very harvest vibe and I'm going to wrap all this around using jute so that my uh, cluster is very secure and I'm going to tie that tight and then I'm going to slip that jute through the frame. It's plastic so it was very easy to sift it through there and tie it good so that everything kind of stays in place and I did use a little bit of hot glue to keep it from shifting around. And then I added these orange sprays to my cluster just to pull that orange in. And I think this came out really cute. And this is now you have this harvest decor. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateupfancy.com. Thank you so much.